the infamous weight loss plateau. Oh no! Well, don't you be discouraged. I'm going to give you 10 surefire tips to overcome it. So all of your efforts paid off and you lost weight. Well, for a while, but now you feel stuck. You've reached the famous plateau. Well, the, this is very common. If you don't experience one as you approach your ideal body weight, consider yourself very, very blessed. These plateaus are to be expected. Why? Our bodies are resistant to change. A large chunk of people who've reached their ideal weight will tell you they've experienced as many as two or three plateaus lasting several weeks each. I know because I've counseled a lot of people with their weight. But here are the top ways to overcome the plateau. Number one, increase your protein. As you lose weight, your metabolism drops because your body is now requiring less calories for the smaller you. Protein amps up metabolism. It has a high thermic effect on food, meaning eating protein burns more calories. Protein also contains an amino acid, leucine, that is a potent catalyst to burn fat. Number two, add matcha. What's that? It's green tea powder. This is one that I love. This is a, a double strength green tea powder. It contains EGCG shown to naturally boost metabolism by as much as 40%. I'd have matcha every day. Get your sleep. A full night's sleep is vital to losing body fat because it resets your hormones. Even a little sleep deprivation can lead to increased cortisol, which can lead to body fat accumulation around the midsection, that stubborn fat. If you can't sleep, melatonin can be your answer. Number four, I want you to stay hydrated. Did you know your body will crave food when you're even mildly dehydrated? Symptoms of dehydration are very symptom similar to symptoms of hunger. So it's easy to confuse the two and you eat. I want you to aim for six eight ounce bottles of water a day. You want to make it more fun? Add a little lemon or cranberry juice to the water. Number five, you're going to try to increase your muscle mass. Do you want to burn more calories at rest? Get some light weights. They don't have to be heavy. See, it can be five pounds and build a little more muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn and the more fat you shed. Number six, I want you to listen carefully to this one. This is important. Don't eat after 8 p.m. That's when your metabolism is the slowest. I'm serious. I want you to look at the clock. If it's after 8, you don't eat, at least for this time where you're going to burst through that plateau. And then you can look forward to your nice protein breakfast that you've got lined up for the next day. Number seven, add yogurt. Yes, little yogurt, one cup per day helps burn fat. And if you exercise, eat the yogurt within one hour. This will help build the lean muscle, which burns even more calories. And the one that I love, and I want to recommend it to you because I so love this, it's Chobani. It's called a Simply 100. So there's only 100 calories. And the best, best one, absolutely scrumptious, is the black cherry. Number eight, hormones, Barbara's favorite topic. The total amount of calories burned and how they're burned is affected by hormones. So if you're unbalanced, you need to balance yourself out. Use progesterone cream. It encourages your body to burn fat for energy, not to store it. Number nine, I want you to cut out fruit for about four days. Why? It converts to glucose and fructose, and this can cause insulin to rise and fat to be stored. Now, berries of any kind are okay, but not any other fruits for this time period. And remember, this is just for your plateau. Number 10. This one may sound counterintuitive, but give your body a little more food, which will trick it into burning more calories. It's gotten used to less calories. Now you're going to give it more and it'll amp up your metabolism. So for three days, vary your calorie intake between 1,800 and 2,400 calories. I know this may sound crazy, but trust me, it'll work. After three days, you can cut back. 
And by the way, if you're a woman, don't allow your calorie intake to go below 1,200 and a man, 1,500. Because if you fall below these allowances, you can damage your metabolism for the future. We need to keep your furnace burning. Okay, Barbara's got something for you. A bonus. You've been really good to listen to the first 10 ways. So here's something you might like. Nibble dark chocolate before and after meals. You're feeling deprived? Get motivated again. Treat yourself to one ounce of dark chocolate before and after lunch and dinner. And I want you to nibble on it 20 minutes before and five minutes after. Proven to cut your appetite in half. Just make sure it's at least 73% cacao. Okay, you're off and running off that plateau. Call or email me if you need more help. Let's eat ourselves slender. Do you need more tips for weight loss? There are lots in my book, Eat Yourself Slender. It's available on Amazon. I want to be your weight loss cheerleader. I'm on your side. Keep in touch with me.